Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Music Ranking, Rating, and Reviewing Podcast I'd like to call Music Meltdown, in which we take your favorite discographies, songs, whatever have you about music, and rate, rank, and review them. This episode is going to be the first full dive into the country genre that we have done, something that it took me a while to warm up to, but I'm pretty into as of now, especially the singer-songwriter aspect of country music. And for the first time, I decided to start it with a modern artist. Because on a modern country, I feel like does get kind of overshadowed. And really, unless you know who to talk to, you aren't going to know the best stuff. And I'm talking about one of my personal favorites of modern country. We are doing the four albums, as of today, four albums of the female singer-songwriter Margot Price. Uh, her first record, Midwest Farmer's Daughter, released in 2016. And she's been steadily releasing a couple of other records after then and i feel like generally speaking she is pretty well regarded and for people that do know her her music is incredibly well, well respected i've seen five stars at the wazoo and i just hear plenty of great things about her discography and i knew that debut record and i really enjoyed that debut record so i wanted to take the opportunity to sit down listen to her newest three i've given all of these at least one listen and just sort of written down my initial notes and my ideas upon the records seen an episode of the show before you kind of know how this works and i'm just going to go ahead and get right into this with my number four that being said i really hope that you check her out because i do feel like in all four of these records there is something to be found however at number four for me unfortunately it is going to be her newest release strays from just today january 13th and this isn't a bad record by any means but for me it is by far margo's weakest crop of material and it feels somewhat generic at points I feel like some of these songs really just don't have a ton to say. Despite that, though, I think that the sound of the record is very good, and per the usual, all of her arrangements are excellent, even on songs I'm not necessarily as keen on. And just generally speaking, I feel like the material that she's bringing here is a lot less memorable than her other records, despite that there are two songs that I thought were really great, songs being Country Road and Hell in the Heartland, both of which I do really enjoy personally. But as a whole, I feel like the record provides the least reasons to go back to it, and generally speaking, is a little unremarkable within her discography, and I have that at three stars, meaning that it is a decent record. So I don't go below any of her albums being decent, and to the point to where, given the person, I would recommend all four of these, but the top three are really the cream of the crop for her, in my opinion, with my number three being her record, That's How Rumors Get Started. And this isn't a bad record at all, but it's hard to compare with her initial two records. Um, it has a very similar sound to All American Made, which also has a fairly similar sound to what the Midwest Farmer's Daughter. But like I was saying about Strays, the songs here are just less memorable overall. I feel like she is expanding the sound that she had on the previous record a little bit more, however. Uh, the track Heartless Mind actually reminded me a bit of a country version of the band Blondie, surprisingly enough. But despite sort of a little bit of the negativity that I said before, I feel like when this record is on very similar to Strays, it showcases Margot's talents brilliantly and shows why I think that she's one of the best in modern country. Uh, the title track here is really great. I love the Letting Me Down as well as Prisoner of the Highway. Those are all excellent songs. And despite there being a fair bit of filler, I would say overall, I would still call it a good record and I would give it three and a half stars. And the top two first two i feel like most would agree these are definitely her best two records um maybe some would flip the order but for me i have it number two midwest farmer's daughter um for me just an incredibly strong country record across the board uh, margo's voice throughout all of this catalog is just exceptional but on this record it's the main draw for me i think that her vocals are absolutely stunning but past that i think the playing across the record is just absolutely killer it's pretty straight ahead country, and if you aren't into the genre, it's not going to be for you, and I would highly suggest not even bothering. But for me, this is some of the best country music of the 2010s as a whole. Her writing is incredibly strong and helps to elevate each of these songs. My favorites being, um, my favorite cuts are songs like About to Find You Since You Put Me Down and This Town Gets Around. I don't have this quite at a four and a half stars. I do think that maybe it could have done with a bit more diversity. And for what it is, though, it's still very strong and I would call it very good. And I have it at four stars and I would highly recommend you check it out. However, for me, the number one Margot Price record is going to be her debut record, All American Made. 
Um, I haven't actually heard a ton about this record, even from people that do love the debut. But to me, I would say that that's a bit of a shame because this is just a sharper version of that debut record. I think that the arrangements are a lot fuller and the lyrics tended to resonate with me a good bit more. I think our vocals are generally speaking a bit more powerful and added a bit of punch across the tracks that, while still present, I mean, Best Farmer's Daughter was more pronounced across this release. And I especially love the keys on this record. They added a ton to all of these tracks, especially on the number Do Right By Me, which is also my favorite across the record. I think the song Cocaine Cowboys is also excellent, and Nowhere Fast is also very good. And while I still love the debut, I feel like this is a much fuller, much more rich listening experience. I have this at four and a half stars. I think that this one is a great record. And if you were to check out any Margot Price record, for me, it is going to be the album All American Made from 2017. It's going to be a short one because it's a short discography, but it's a short but great one. And despite there being two records here that I'm not necessarily as keen on in comparison to her first two, I still do think that there is plenty, plenty to love and enjoy through all of these records. All of them have at least one or two really standout great songs. And if you were one of those people that were kind of turned off by country music, because I know that there's a large contingent of people, I was there as well. And I think that she would be a good artist to break you in because her songwriting is just exceptional. And while it is very traditionally made country music, I feel like that is strong enough on a pure musicality standpoint to where even if you aren't necessarily as keen on the style as I became, it could still definitely work out for you, especially give my, especially give her first two records a shot. They're really highlights of the decade for me. That being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I'm not totally sure when it's going to come out, but I'm really hoping that you enjoy. So I can't quite say who's going to be coming next, but some artists that I have in mind that I'm going to be doing, uh, some big ones I have coming up in the following months, R.E.M., Tom Petty, Pretenders, as well, just some smaller ones that I think could be fun, like Psychedelic Furs, as well as, let's throw out, as well as Sloan. Those are a couple of the artists that I'm planning on doing soon. That being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this. There's a Discord server for the community that I'm hoping to get going a lot more in the description below. Be sure to subscribe so that you can see more and more videos of these that I make. As well, just like and comment so that I can hear your opinions on Margot Price and sort of see if we have the same love of her music. That being said, I hope that you have a great one. Bye.